Greetings and welcome. This is Psychic Medium Roberto and I truly hope you are doing well today. Trigger warning, the subject matter is of a mature nature and deals with true crime events. Disclaimer, all cases are treated as alleged until proven in a court of law. So I'll be coining this episode as the fifth reading in the Nicola Boulay unraveling case here. The first couple of readings were of course on Nicola and then we discovered um, Evelina who was an associate of Nicholas, um, who fortunately warned us or warned the world that groups or people were after her. And of course, she's pinging on me, Nicola. Then, mysteriously, a copper, a police, a distinguished policeman. I don't believe there was any untoward in his situation, but I will explain each of the reasons why. And of course, we know he was investigating, Peter Lawson was investigating the subsequent murders or the murder of Nicola Boulay. Um, having re-looked at his numbers, I've discovered additional information that I'll share in this episode. And then, uh, coincidentally, a viewer asked to have the case of Gaynor Lord looked at, which we'll go through now. Having gone through the case, and here's her chart here, um, I haven't developed it as much. I've just laid out the date so we can get a... We don't waste time with setting out the numbers. So we'll go through that. However, having observed some key moments, we're going to look at the four in comparison. Okay. Now, the question is, what is going on? <laughs> and as important, if not Im as more important, who is responsible for these murders? So, for those that don't know, Gaynor Lord went missing December the 8th, 2023. And her body was discovered on December the 15th. Uh, this is a story out of London, England. Uh, don't quote me on the city, bigger pardon, uh, but definitely UK. Um, but we'll go through it here if it's not London. Uh, let me just see. Uh, she worked at um, Billard's Gin at Gerald's department store. All right, so, but UK. Oh, London Street, huh? So, curiously, on this day that she goes missing, if you don't know the story, I'll keep it summarized. Gaynor leaves work an hour early, according to reports. Now, there's extensive CCTV footage seeing her walking through the streets and here is a sequence of events from one all the way to seven where she disappears right um significantly where did that disappear to now significantly i feel 33 minutes 
is used up, she goes to a cathedral. So out of this sequence of time, which is almost, what is that? Uh, hour 15 minutes. So out of hour 15 minutes on the run, on the run, however, she is making herself visible, which is also very important, I believe, in this situation. So we're talking about a sophisticated level situation here. This is not a... Um, a lady that gets spooked in the shop um, running for her life or she gets a call uh, we have this person in, in kidnap bring money this looks like a woman making herself very exposed if you watch the, the CCTV footage the feeling that I get or had was um, of, of course there's lots of cameras around in these days but the whole experience is caught on camera how rare is that in any case right so for me already when i started reading this case um, i do have a level of dread uh, that we are dealing with sinister uh, operations here, dark ops, or, or rather, <laughs> let's call it black ops. Um, so we can argue and say, well, hey, I wanted to take an hour off. No one knew about it though, but she decided to take an hour off, go for a stroll, visit the church for 30% of the time that she's on the sequence and lands up in a park and uh, and then just disappears now when I did some research I haven't done full extension a uh, full extensive research but I read articles about how the local police called in the police that uh, were involved in the Nicola Belay case purely on a um, um, police force helping police force situation. So not to say that there was any link between them. Okay. Now, the recommendation came up with Please look at the policeman and please look at this woman here. Now, I did the policeman, but I didn't spot. Gain or Lord. As involved with this, so I just pulled out a date. So let's look at what happens here. December the 8th. I'm just going to clear this here. December the 8th. So when she's on the run, um, I just want to, I've been trying to tap into the energy because lately you will notice there's been quite a lot of crimes, sophisticated crimes, in my opinion, sophisticated uh, where all CCTV footage is available or there's significant CCTV footage, right? Especially these high level crimes. Now, this is the 221127 is the zone where it begins on the day, on the day. And we can include here, let me just check. Uh, I believe it was just as sunset, uh, just before sunset. There's a little bit of sun there, man and his dog. Um, <laughs> all right. So this is the zone. Yeah, is the crime scene. Yeah. Yeah. 
Now we've got a very hectic number here, 27.9. So we are looking at murder. There's no doubt in my mind. This was an um, oops, I slipped in the water again. So we got a 27.9 uh, and there's the presence of the 89. Either way, it's murder. Okay. But the 27.9, that is a premeditation. Um, intended to cause harm. So in other words, so there's a difference between I go to a bar, um, I'm at the counter, I've had four beers or whatever, uh, the person next to me that bumps into me has had 10 beers and we end up in a fight and there's a death. That's like an 89. Okay. Technically, it's murder, but it's not premeditated murder. I know there's legal terms for this, but I'm not in a legal mindset at the moment. Or like second degree murder, whatever the charge would be. But 27.9... You're sending someone out, whoever the puppet master is, you're sending someone out with deliberate intent to commit murder. In other words, this person's on a hit list. Type murder. But the outcome is still murder, nine. So the theory that... Uh, and I, I must say, having looked at, I looked at various reports because we are retrospectively. So I looked as many reports as possible, but not when I felt I had enough, then I had enough. But there were a number of articles that just dismissed this case like it was, ah, uh, she was spotted doing um, uh, yoga in the park. But... The person we saw had the exact same coat as Gaynor was wearing. For me, that stood out. Why would, why would that be a feature? Um, or why would you even have to mention that oh, the coat was identical? Didn't she look like Gaynor? I haven't seen that footage of her in the park where she's doing her yoga, uh, supposedly. Now remember, if these cameras are monitoring, because I have a, I have a hunch, and we'll, we'll work on it, I'll, I'm going to just say, I believe, and there's actually proof here as well, as I've just said that, I was taking the leap of faith, ladies and gentlemen. I believe she may have received a message at some point during the day, that's my sense. And on this day, we have an eight. And that is about communication, messaging. We've seen it obviously with these uh, royal fools lately. Now, let's just say she receives a message in the day. Whatever it is, we'll, we'll even get to what this is all about uh, when we look at this as a collective, because I believe there is a connection. But the, according to the, the news uh, fodder machines and the reports coming from the police, 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 was this was, a, oops, I did it again, fell in the river. Now, who best to come and investigate this but the people that investigated? Nicola Boulay. That's interesting. Now, that must be quite baffling to think, now someone fell in the water, we must get the guys in that, that solved the Nicola Belay case somehow. But it's not about the Nicola Belay case, it's about their expertise and experience in solving the crime. Even though, initially, as in the case of Nicola Belay, there were searches done. Did they find a body? No. And in the case of Nicola Belay, did they find the body when they did the search? No. The body was placed there again. 
So the day, and I'm pointing out the reasons why I decided to do the case before we get deep, right? This is an overview where I'm at currently. So December 15 is the discovery day, right? Now, for those that have been, sorry about that funny zoom there. For those that have been watching lately, the all too familiar staging number 26.8 happening the day before Gaynor's body is found. Wow. Eh? So all the 72 hours or 48 hours after she goes missing doing yoga and accidentally falls in a pond in the middle of a bizarre scene like a woman and her coat is flapping in the air. It, you know. But the day before we or the public is she's discovered we have a 26 8 the day before so that array that of course does do alarm bells for me 34 7 you know uh, i'm just trying to remember which case i saw this in 34 7 uh at the the two the two gentlemen with the boeing case right the second gentleman that got uh, all of a sudden ill so of course, made to look like natural. 34-7, it's death. It's almost, 34-7 is also premeditated death. But it's made to look natural, for natural. And I will say now, and I haven't made a particular note about it now, but I'm going to now. There's a certain something going on with this number here, ladies and gentlemen, 16.7. I've picked it up several times now. This is the second day working on the case. Um, and it's after meditating a second time, I've decided to now go for it. But the 16.7... And I'm recording this, what is this, June 18, early bells. The 16.7 keeps popping up and I will just say, it's not a serial killer. Sixteen seven plays a significant part in this cover-up. That's a treacherous reality, but hey, we have uh, British citizens being murdered yet, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. We have British citizens being murdered And we need to find out why, the really real why, not the vet and friend story, lovey dovey's going on or whatever the story was, because now the plot thickens, right? So we start zooming out to understand what is actually going on here. And I must say, when I started looking at this and I said this up front, there's a level of sophistication here, man and his dog. Now, I did meditate. I tried to meditate on what was going through her mind here, what was going on at these moments. Now, and also to say that this particular shot is the day of the shot, right? The CCTV footage, whatever. But there's something sinister in the air. What would make a woman or any person leave work and go on this 
and a half mission and gone. What would make a person do that? So what is the secret? What is the big information going on here? We'll continue as Gaynor Lords event. But we note on December the 15th, the 16th, 7th keeps popping up and is significant here somewhere. The 89 murder, there's a confirmation. With a hidden, I'm not making this up, ladies and gentlemen, hidden 27.9, the day she's discovered. Now, for those that um, are asking, why would this be, how does this connect it? Okay, so let's have a look here. Gaynor Lord goes missing on this day. Now, we don't know who she is until this happens, right? So a timeline begins with her, December the 8th. And we can go backward and we can go forward. Now, needless to say, we can and we will still look at the three days after the event will also reveal clues about what happened on the day. And we'll still go there. But the day of discovery is a time point, if you like, or a point in the timeline of Gaynor Lord. So it will give us information as well. There's a murder, but hidden is actually a hit. I've also just noticed now, and this is why I believe this level of sophistication is at is what it is, is because of the sevens. Not the 16, 7, the 7s. So the 7s are speaking about people in official positions. There's a lot of 7s. Of course, we have the 7s in the year. 2023 equals a 7. But the 16, 7 is either a person or organization or group so these are the markers that alerted me that there's something up here and uh, we have that presence of that 26 8 again see how it's hidden on December the 14th now it's open on December the 16th because it, her body's been discovered. So something's up here, ladies and gentlemen. There's definitely... So just from a perspective of murder or accident. Murder. This 21-3 year is a little bit alarming in that someone is being held against their will. Because like in the Nicola Boulay case, she, I believe she was taken away on the day she went missing. The day that she supposedly fell in the river, I believe she was taken away. And there, well... It's detrimental ending on this day, without a doubt. But there's someone being held against their will. So, and there's lots of chatter going on. Lots of chatter, lots of chatter. Lots of chatter. In fact, uh, the reading that I did on the war games with the vessels, Russian vessels arriving in... Um, 
the one or two days later we saw the sequence and in that sequence I mentioned because they were doing drills explosions but it also turned out there were other vessels approaching as well and docking there from Canada the US so lots of chatter going on here as well lots of communication going on and the group 10-1 right So in the case of Gaynor Lord, I'm looking for what is the reason? What would be the reason? And we do have the presence of the 13-4 here still. Thirteen four, not a good number. I always look for if children are involved in some way, shape or form. Because when you see numbers like, there it is, yeah, 33. And let me just say now, and you'll see just now, that 33 there's it there, Nicola, Belay. There's 33 with, beg your pardon, with Evelina, beg your pardon, Evelina. I suppose I should put the names here, beg your pardon. Now, in each of their cases, unfortunately, there are 30 with an outcome 330. So Nicola Boulay is the 29th. We see the presence of a 33. In the case of Evelina, we see the 33. In the case of Peter Lawson, police officer, who was investigating the Nicola Boulay case, has a 33 there as well. So there's a common thread theme, unfortunately. And we know Jo with uh, Gaynor that she also has a 33 in the death, in the crime scene zone. Eh? Within the crime scene zones. 33. So everyone is sharing a similar theme with the presence of 13.4 is not good, but you will note with all of them, a 12.3 outcome. Uh, yeah. 12.3. Twelve three. Twelve three. Now, even with Peter, now I mentioned up front there's a change in Peter, right? So he was I believe he was discovered on this day, yeah, right? But if I look back now again, I'm not don't know what his movements were, but here's the death sequence here for him. So if we go to what would then be the real reflection day, Now, that's one match on all of them, the 12-3 outcome, as well as the days that they were murdered. Now, we can say, yes, this is the number sequence you will see when people are murdered. 
That is one plausible explanation. But the the increase of coincidence that two women that know each other, one, are murdered. The police officer, as we know it, investigating the crime is murdered. And then now we have, well, not now, this was only brought to my attention in the last few days. In fact, I was looking back on requests and came across this episode. I have kept the viewer confidential for now. Um, Gaynor Lord. So Nicola passes January 2023. Evelina, April 2023. Peter Lawson, December 10, 2023, or in, let's say, December, not December 10. Um, and then we got Gaynor in December. Now, Peter and Gaynor would have been murdered at the same time or the same day. Now, what's interesting here is, from a numerology point of view, beg your pardon, Nicola Belay, she has a 36.9. See the 36.9 there? Erelina has a 36.9 as well. So that speaks also about manner. Now, when we get to, in other words, this is up close and personal in my opinion, Nicola and Ewelina. Up close and personal. 36-9 is a very aggressive hands-on murder situation, right? Six is the human in that middle. Now with Peter and with Gaynor, they have a 27-9. So we can say, Peter Lawson, yes, he's investigating the crime. And therefore, we're going to go with this narrative. He was taken out because he was hot on the trail of the information and the motives and, and who the puppet masters are, right? Whatever the game is. So we've got Gaynor who, in my opinion, has either who Gaynor has the same person kill her or the people involved are the same motive and operandi as the first three. So what's the coincidence of that? The media was very quick to say this is not the same case as Nicola and Gaynor. I noticed that in the media. It was so like scripted. It felt like um, on this day, please say this from the police. Now, no reporting doesn't necessarily bring in emotion, but it just felt very scripted, very mechanical. Um, let's get this narrative out because I did say there are sevens involved. And of course, Gaynor does have that 13-4. So what is her role in this situation? Because I also believe at some level, she was not, She, I believe she may have been in the value chain. Okay. She was definitely in the value chain, and I don't know what connection she would have had. But when you're dealing with crime and true crime and looking at numbers at a crime scene, there's identical footprints at every scene. So 
So let's say the footprint is the 12.3. The manner and, and um, circumstances around these deaths are fingerprints. However you want to look at it. In the book, that uh, the first book, uh, True Crime and Numerology, all these numbers, is the collection of them creates your um, circumstantial evidence. So on, on, in, each, in each of the four cases, we've got identical fingerprints and we've got identical shoe prints, for a lack of a better metaphor. The outcome is the same in all of them. They all have the 33. There's all transactional elements immediately after their disappearance and chatter. Higher ups involved, 37.10.1, 37.10.1. But her level's different here. And I believe she may have been even thinking of talking about this stuff or revealing information about this and she had to be taken out or eliminated so the plot definitely thickens and I'm still and I may have mentioned that there were in Peter's case there were multiple murders but the um, what I realized to get to the bottom of this, I need to do a full lead up to Nicola as she was the first victim that we know about because I feel there may have been something else in the before all of this started being revealed. So I'll need to do a full analysis leading up to Nicola but the hallmarks of what has happened prior to Gaynor's disappearance is exactly what happened to Evelina and Nicola Boulay. Now, the 16-7 has been my puzzle. There are other supporting cases that I've been looking at that happen to have occurred, funny enough, in the UK. So if we look at the Matthew Trickett case, and I'm just going to bring it in here, also in the UK recently passed, um, who was allegedly linked to, and I'll bring in his chart here, linked to allegedly China, spying for China or spying. Uh, we have very similar numbers around here as well. And I, I just wonder what is going on here. Because he has also a very strong presence of a 16.7. Now I need to uh, go deeper. But is the UK, and I'm just saying, this is not to raise alarm bells, but we saw, I believe, in Matthew Trickett's case, we've got Chinese and Russian operatives working together, I believe, in the UK. But something's up here. So if we go, 
And I believe it's there. Something is up. It's either that. Uh, what was the other one? This one. What is going on here? Uh, got them on the wrong one. So, what is going on in the UK, ladies and gentlemen? We've got the presence of all three organizations at the scene. Twenty one three twelve three three twelve three three twenty one three twelve three twenty one three twelve three three <laughs> sound like a robot and then in Gaynor's case as well twenty one three twelve three We also note in this slide here, yeah, my working slide, look there, look there, 33. Thirty-three above the twenty-one three. Her 33 is here, her 33 is there. In this case, the 33. So this is why I believe these two at the bottom, beg your pardon, by not to demote or anything, but just as they are, Peter Lawson, Gaynor Lord, new information about this versus, and this, we still need to verify, but I believe the first two were more involved with this ring of operations. Now we'll note the 11-2 in the day here, right? Look here. Eleven two. Now, if we go, yeah, eleven two. Thirty three, twenty one, three, twelve, three, right? Each day that these guys are taken out, oopsie daisy. Let me just grab it from here, rather. Each day that they are taken out. 11 This hidden 22 are outbursts here. These people are going to talk. They were taken out. So these people were sent out to sort these guys out. Uh, coincidence or not, that the outcome all ping here. 
one, two, three, four. There's something bigger at play here. There's a level of sophistication around here. Going back to Gaynor here, look at the day before she gets the information. We have this anomalous of sevens. Things are out of control. And there's a chain reaction. Decisions are made, 24, 6. What is going on here? And have a look here as well. And I've just seen it now. The 33, 6 here. That's a level of premeditation. Not very nice numbers. Seventeen eight. Massive staging with Gaynor being discovered. Massive staging. So the issue is the information that we're getting from authorities is compromised as well. And I read an article there that uh, Gaynor's husband was completely devastated that based on the quick turnaround autopsy, there was, it was classified as um, no third party involvement. And case closed. So coincidence or not, there are too many similarities. Look again at Nicola, day after, lots of 10 ones. Ewelina, lots of 10 ones. And Gaynor, lots of 10 ones. Lots of issues going on here. And they all share the same outcome. What is going on here? What is going on here? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave it there for now. It will require further investigation. But there are too many similarities with these cases all right please leave your thoughts and comments i love engaging with them stay safe stay alert and i'll see you in the next one bye for now